Motion to second. Any comments, questions, changes? All in favor? Aye. Privilege of the floor, public concerns. Any privilege of the floor, public concerns? Anybody online? Privilege of the floor, public concerns. Okay, hearing none, we will go to the Board of Standing Committees, Public Works. All right, Public Works, not this morning, second thirty or third of the zone. Uh, LTA from Water and Sewer and Highway and Parks. I'll start with Water and Sewer. Um, we just started work on digester number two. Uh, the slide has been transferred to digester one, and it's in Mexico immediate right now. And digester two is now empty and ready for the inspection. Uh, the UV system, we talked about that. It's an ongoing thing from the last meeting. Uh, flow meters are have been ordered. Uh, PS7, we are still waiting on a generator. And hole inspections were done in cobblestone. I and I inspections at Mars Purple. Uh, we discussed the uh, Collar Road emergency sewer repair. Uh, let's talk about that meeting. Uh, we got some service line information uh, and records gone up by the intern. We had a report this morning. It was a very good job that she did. A very good. Hydrant uh, flushing, bleach trimming is going on. Uh, we we talked about some budget stuff with the equipment and stuff like that. That's about it for the water and sewer. Highway and parks. Ongoing equipment maintenance, uh, they've been mowing roadsides uh, and mowing the landfill. Trucks are all under the pumps in Antigua. Uh, they poured some tent basins and gutters on metal brook and, and clover metal. Uh, Pine and Brownfell is now open and uh, they removed all the little food, food, food signs over there. New coat is out of crack ceiling and I believe they finished that up. Uh, parks are mowing, uh, striping and drilling fields, uh, painting crosswalks, uh, doing some maintenance and repairs. Uh, we are uh, tired of doing the inspections that have done throughout all the buildings and they're finished up. And we have one issue with the slop shop with the electrical issues, and they're going to get ready to work and find out what that issue is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Site design and development criteria, there are specification changes. Uh, the cap sidewalk grant is proceeding on schedule, which is good. There will be two public hearings uh, next month, one for Chapter 9 text amendments and Chapter 38 town code updates. One is for the board, commission, and committee duties and responsibility, and uh, Chapter 38 has to do with the records management the staff is also been working with the planning board for an amendment to the incentive zoning district map for Redfield Grove Incentive Zoning Project, Phase 3. Uh, also, we had an advisory, ag advisory committee meeting this week, uh, and Donna did a very nice job of explaining a lot of the uh, way they're taxing the out changes things. I think they understood. I didn't, but I think they understood. <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have a. It was. It was. We got into the weeds a little bit. Yeah. The last question. I don't I quite understand where he was going with that. Anyway, we'll have another meeting on September twenty first. Uh, we're reviewing ten samples, sample regulations that have been adopted adopted by other municipalities regarding ag conservative district regulations. 
And that'll be September 21st, 630 at the town hall here. Uh, and anything else the director of planning and development will go over and our code guy will finish up on some of the other reports as well. Thanks, Mike. And our reports are by the town officials, supervisor, and bear with me. I've been busy. Uh, compost containers. We still have a few residents that signed up early that have not come to uh, pick up their containers. So we'll give them one more chance this week. Otherwise, we'll open it up for the additional units. Uh, we have 10 left. And then we're also want to build uh, the list. So we know how much to put in the budget for 2024. We'll buy some more uh, those containers. Uh, 2024 budget sheets have been turned in from the department heads. Janine and I have scheduled next Tuesday, August 29th, 10 a.m. for water and sewer, 1.30 for highway parks. The rotation of budgets, they're huge budgets compared to the other departments. And we always look at the expenses and the revenues. So before the town board sees it, we Try and go through it one more time and uh, you know make some changes or find mistakes like that. Um, then we're going to have our public workshops uh, between September 14th and 26th with our departments and outside agencies. And we do that right here at the town hall. Last Thursday, Supervisor Mayor and I met with representatives from the Fishers, Farmington. And Victor Fire Departments and the Victor Farmington Volunteer Ambulance Corps. We try to meet on every week or every month and see what's going on. The Farmington Ambulance Corps, Victor Farmington Ambulance Corps, their calls are up 51 calls in yeah, the same period in 2022. The Farmington Volunteer Fire Department, if you ask them, I think they'll tell you that they had a very successful 75th annual tournament. We're good to hear that. Glad to hear that. Uh, this Thursday at 5 p.m., Ron, Dan, and I are going to attend a, like last Thursday, attend an open house, Farmington Medical Group at 332. They currently have family practice and OBGYN practice in there. Uh, last Saturday, I attended a Scout Eagle Court of Honor, Troop 6060. It's an all female troop. Started in 2019. Five amazing young women are, who were founding troop members all earned their Eagle rank this spring. And they celebrated all five Saturday. Uh, two are from Farmington, Ruby Clary and McKenna Minder. The other three are from Victor. Very, very glad that I got an uh, invite to that. Yesterday, I had to request the Rochester Home Builders and Congresswoman Teddy office, Ron and I. Uh, met over to Hathaway's Corners, and we discussed the current housing market, climate impacts on the local economy. What does the future look like? <clears throat> Everybody's still having trouble with workforce development. Uh, our GD restrictions, you know, the state wants to go all electric, but they can't provide now for the needs of the, of the developments. And, some of these developments are been on pause for over six months, waiting for transforms. There were a lot of good conversation in the there an hour and 45 minutes. In Ontario County, uh, Ron Brian, Dan Delfore, and myself attended the FEMA presentation of new flood plain maps. Uh, there will be time to review the changes and discuss how to obtain flood, flood insurance. And they will be scheduling an open house for county residents to ask questions and review maps. And maybe Ron or Dan can come in and go into that a little bit more in detail. Uh, county committee cycles for 2024 budget discussions have started. The final review of all the department's budgets for ways and means is scheduled for Thursday, September 21st, 8 a.m. at the county. Uh, Farmington is co-sponsoring the Hazardous Waste Event with Cornell Cooperative Extension of Ontario County. It's September 16th here at our Farmington Highway Garage. Everybody must pre-register. And the last thing I had, it's on the website. And the last thing I had, just a reminder that we have scheduled our cleanup days for October 13th and 14th. And we'll be putting out more information next month or so. 
That's all I have. I mean, works. Um, and just to report a little more on the, the electrical situation at the swap shop, uh, we did hydro excavate over there this morning. They did find that the electrical wire was run through conduit. So we're hoping that the electrician is going to be able to pull the wire without breaking it. Yeah. If he does, well, then I guess we're digging. Yeah. How long the run is that? Um, well, it goes from the parks building up to the storage building. Uh, 100 feet. Yeah, yeah. Or more. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I did get one of my new 2020 trucks I was supposed to get in 2022 came in yesterday. So that's here. The other 550 that I was supposed to get in 2022 that was being bailed out of Viking. That one's done at Viking. Now it has to go to Thruway Spring and have the plow put on it. So I expect to see that in a couple of weeks. So. Yeah. Pretty much have everything waiting on the loader and our mowing tractor. I believe the mowing tractor is due to be shipped at the end of the month, coming from Texas. Okay. We'll see. Um, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, last Saturday afternoon, I received a Facebook message uh, from an individual over in Joe Haven inquiring about if there was a appellate permit issued, at which time there, there are not any. So I did drive over there and I did find the, the two gentlemen um, and they uh, just got their DBA, I guess, at Ontario County and thought that by doing that, they entitled them to go anywhere they wanted. So I kind of filled them in and each town is different. The fees are different. You need to fill an application and all that. They were very nice guys. Um, I did talk to the owner, uh, but I... Do not have anything from them. So he was supposed to email me, he requested an application, and he has not. So um, it is, uh, what is it? Done, uh, what was the name of the company? Gurney Pro Efficiency Cleaning. Sounds like they clean windows inside now, maybe like a solar panel they clean. Their logo has solar panels on a house. So, um, but two nice guys. So we'll see if they come again. Yeah, I, I got a Facebook message also with their. In Doe Haven, and by the time I got a hold of her, she's like, I'm on it. I'll be there. I'll find you. I'll go get them. <laughs> so they were very nice, and they did leave there. The vehicles were not marked either, so yeah. only their polo shirts were. But, and I asked them for a business card, and he's like, oh, I don't have any. And I'm like, what are you giving at the doors? <laughs> but so he took mine, and like I said, I don't have anything yet. So probably too high priced, I guess, for them. So. Right. And they're just getting started. They are. They are two, yeah, they're very nice guys. Thanks. Our north, line, north Road water line project is there, uh, proceeding very well. It's about 3,000 feet of 8 inch water main that's being replaced. It passed pressure testing yesterday. It's being disinfected now. And if all goes well, it'll be tested tomorrow and hopefully in service Monday of next week. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And then they just got to do the connections to the homes. Then all the connections will be done to the homes. Yes. Okay. Um, to sort of go off of what Michelle's talking about, we're also having issues with contractors working after hours and on Sundays. So we've been dealing with that and trying to curb that. It seems to go in a pattern that they're good for a while and then they start working on the the weekends so uh we are working on that and then also about the fema mapping that you mentioned more will be coming uh they will be doing some open houses and we'll make sure to post that and get that information out to all of our residents as quickly as we can yep. yep september 6th is our next meeting uh we have a continued uh we subdivision uh, over in uh, uh, Pleasant Crossing at Three Lock Request. So we could, we're working with that. Hopefully, we'll have some information in on it. And uh, and then we have a final site plan for a uh, 
for a single family residence over on Yellow Mill. That and letter of the credits, a couple other things, and uh, then I'll keep it busy. Thanks. Yeah. Done. Director of planning and planning. Well, I'd just like to piggyback on your uh, comments about Congresswoman Tenney. Her visit yesterday by the Rochester Home Builders. Um, she did comment about how uh, inflation and everything was really creating a very difficult time for home builders and for people wanting to get into their first homes. Uh, she complimented the town, looking around uh, Hathaway's Corners for the diversity of housing that was being offered over there and the way in which that area was being developed uh, as a package. So kudos to uh, the planning board for doing a good job. It was recognized. The town ops report has been posted on the website today. Uh, coming up in September, uh, there will be a number of public hearings on amendments to the town code, most of them dealing with boards, committees, and uh, agencies, or commissions. The other thing that, that's starting to come to fruition is the uh, impact of all this inflation on uh, our ability for the sidewalk grant. Mm -hmm. When we put the grant together a couple of years ago, we put in a very, what we thought was high estimate of the cost for installing sidewalks per, per foot. Um, we may be surprised with what we can do with the amount of money we have. It, it, it's not looking very favorably, I'll, I'll say that. Given the fact of supply chain, given the fact that concrete is very difficult to come by as Others uh, have talked about it's a major concern that is affecting everybody, and uh, there doesn't seem to have any light at the end of the tunnel on it. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed, and I'll keep you informed as we go along. Today we did have meetings with RGD, Frontier, and um, Greenlight, and Spectrum. Uh, there's a number of holes that need to be relocated, uh, some guy wires that need to be relocated, and uh, hats off to all four of those companies because they were very, very cooperative with the town today. They, Whatever you want, we'll, we'll see that it gets done. And that's a, a big surprise. So that's it from here. Good. We knew our share was going to be a certain percent. We didn't know or we think we were going to be able to do this much sidewalks. We lost almost a mile on sidewalk. I'm not going to say how much we are estimating. It's it's going to be interesting to see what we can do. I just I, I will relay one thing that I heard from the home builders yesterday, and it's. Uh, um, in Pittsburgh, Ted Spall, you probably have heard that name before. He uh, purchased three of the um, um, generator units there. What do they call them? Um, that they put in for electric panels, the converting transformers. Transformers. Oh, yeah. He purchased three transformers. <laughs> had them installed on his property, RGD came along and took them out because he wasn't using them and they needed them in some other location where they were developed. Now they, they will replace them, but it's just blowing the home builders minds that that happens. He already paid for them. He already paid for them. Had to build the homes near the transformers to connect them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 really difficult out there. Thanks, Ron. Town engineer, Bill. 
Yeah, a few things to report. Um, we did uh, follow through after Public Works this morning with a meeting with the town of Canandaigua um, and a resident on Town Line Road to evaluate sewer connection there. First step will be for the resident to understand what the cost is and whether that's acceptable to them. So slight update there. We'll be closing out Route 96 and 332 projects. So that's final payments on the agenda. Um, we do have a meeting arranged tomorrow with the Loyal 9, who is the contractor for the pavilion. Uh, we've been communicating with them to get all their paperwork and get them started with construction, only to find out that there's a lengthy lead time on the pavilion itself. So we're going to see if there's anything we can do about that. I'm in a potential alternative there to see if we can get something quicker. We'll know more after tomorrow. Um, Grove Park, uh, we'll be updating that cost for you, Pete, for the budget. Um, Brickyard Road, you have a secret amendment on the agenda for tonight um, due to a slight alignment in the water main. Uh, shouldn't be very significant change. And then I just wanted to say today we had a presentation by the interns, intern that did the lead service line inventory, and I think they did a fabulous job so far. So that was nice to see. We told her she can come back and work for us anytime she wants. She has another resume. Let me know. So <laughs> yeah. Here's now. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, so we have about 10 small claims. They have two hearings next week, three the week after, and the restaurant schedule will be at uh, four search worries, which in this rebel year is pretty good. That's all we have. Um, it's been around the anticipated school tax breaks, and the only one I couldn't find was Red Jacket. I don't know how much that's going to go down, but both Calmac and Victor are about $4. Down per thousand, like I was saying to Nate, the only thing that would change that would be the Article 7 settlement in any town. It doesn't have to be our town. You know, if it's West Bloomfield for Victor or whatever, that would change it. But chances of that are pretty slim. So the four dollar decrease, and then hopefully people will realize that. They were taking what their assessment increase was multiplied by the old tax rate. And we said, no, you can't do that. We don't know what it's going to be, but it won't be that. And so hopefully, people will be happy or right. Didn't go up. Our enhanced star and our basic star also, the amount went up one, like 5,000. Well, the basic was 30,000 last year. It's like 34 or something this year that comes out of the assessment. So that also brings it down. The amount that people are going to pay. So hopefully, when the bills go out in a week or two, or my phone won't be ringing off. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that report. Uh, recreation. Don't have anybody here tonight. Uh, communications are on file. Reports and notes are on file. Resolutions. <clears throat> First resolution is operating the Housing Park Superintendent. Usually vacant any old position in the highway department rated twenty-one dollars an hour effective August twenty-eighth. So moved second. Which may see second way wait. Any sessions? This fills your last position at the mechanic, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. On the basis, I I Use a resolution authorizes acceptance of stormwater control facility agreement with the rapture gas on the right. Second. Motion we need. Second by Ron. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Here's the resolution authorizing the waiver of the Beaver Creek Park fees for Victor Cub Scouts Pack 67 on September 9th for their family. So second. Motion by Mike. Second by Steve. All in favor? Aye. 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 Or is the resolution authorizing the hiring of Kaden Lloyd for the vacant zoning assistant code enforcement officer position? Oh, second. And uh, obviously, Kaden's a 12 month appointment. He's got to get a lot of New York State training done um, to stay on. He's being hired at a rate of $23 now. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
I have a resolution authorizing the town supervisor to sign a certificate of substantial completion for the room 33296 waterline replacement and moving the final payment application to Ratchet Pipeline. So moved. Second. Motion by Mike. Second. Steve. Second by Mike. Again, just a reminder it was a $1.1 million project. Most of that was our federal funds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Six resolution authorizing the town supervisor to sign a proposal from the land testing laboratories for special inspections. This is for the town park pavilion. It costs an $5,150 and authorizing budget amendments transferring money from the pavilion A7110.21 to capital project A9950.9 in the amount of $150,000. And from an interfund transfer HB 5031 to park improvements HB 7110 to in the amount of 150,000. So, second motion to bear hand. Second by Mike. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seven is another budget amendment authorizing a transfer from the contingent. A1990.4 and the VLT revenue A2725 to the assessment of contractual A1355.4 on employment insurance A950.8 and engineering contractual A1440.4 and the total amount of $91,000. Moved. Okay. Mike, any questions there? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Eight is a resolution authorizing the acceptance of the stormwater maintenance agreement for Outlets USA properties. That's at 6162, 8 Route 96. And then requires a roll call. So moved. Second. Motion by Mike. Second. Any questions or comments? Roll call vote. Please. Supervisor Inglesby? Aye. Councilman Bowerman? Aye. Councilman Herringing? Aye. Councilman Gasale? Aye. Councilman Holtz? Aye. Thank you. Motion passed. Number nine, resolution authorizes acceptance of parts two and three of the full environmental assessment form for the revised action known as Brickyard Road Water Storage Tank and Water Transmission Line Project and making a determination of non significance upon said revised actions. Second. Motion to revise. Second by Mike. Any questions on this? Again, this goes back to 2007. We started working on the project. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ends with resolution authorizing supervisor to sign a 36 month contract for natural gas with spray operating resources LLC, a fixed rate of $4.68 for e firm, whatever that D stands for. So moved. Second. Motion by Steve, second by Mike. Again, this is a typical week. One, two, or three year contracts, depending on what we think the rate is going to be and and what they offer what we think is the best. And this is the best thing to be now. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Eleven is rest to be operating the appointment of the town justice. Come on. Second. Second we might. Uh we got recently notified by Justice Gilgora that uh, he put in for his retirement papers. Uh, his wife has been working out of state for almost two years now and we keep the house in Farmington, but they're, he's picked up the job in New Hampshire or Maine, somewhere in that area. So we're sad to lose John. Uh, I've been working on Nathan Thomas for two years. That, hey, we moved. I thought Justin. Justice Loon retired first. Um, you know, we, we know Nathan Thomas, and we're glad that he stepped up and you know, take the job. Any other comments? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 the situation, and luckily, um, I don't know, makes a lot of time. But he's got experience, he just filled in, um, and he's thankful for the ability to put the strength, and he's all the hopes. 
uh, work with the Department of Town Work and the DA's office to use their extended city service familiar with the town, um, their court procedures, and the MDO to the job well. Ready? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. We're starting on September 1st. And that's only on both through December 31st, 2024. The next year, there'll be an election. So. And the next one is paying the bills. Abstract 16 of 2023. Have a motion? I'll open first. I give you the dollar amount. General fund. $168,335.50. Highway fund, $39,921.61. And Hubert Creek Park, $120.50. County Road 8 Waterline, $937.50. Route 3, $32.96 Waterline, $5,669.49. North Road Capital Project, $2,625. Town park improvements, $812. Water tank repair, $7,910. Storm drainage, $3,862.54. Fire protection district, $245,530.16. Lighting district, $1,263.60. Sewer district, $62,156.46. Water District, $48,632.05. Payroll deductions, $8,022.53. Or total abstract, $596,498.998,961. Someone. <laughs> my mic, second layer on. Any exceptions? Yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, we do have no training on 102 items of discussion, waiver of late fee. Uh, first one, 5779 Oakfield Drive. She she actually addressed the envelope to 100 County Road 8. And the post office didn't deliver it here at 1000. And so it, it was late. Second one uh, is an individual that signed up for auto pay enrollment and signed up on the 28th of July at 814 at night with the due date of July 31st on his invoice bill, thinking that it would get paid by auto pay because he signed up for it. Uh, the unfortunate thing is you have to sign up before the 20th on the month that the bills are due. It does now say that. And when you go on the website, it it said it, but it really, it said the money was going to be drawn in the 20th, but it didn't say you had to sign up on the, before the 20th. So we, ch we changed the, that point, we changed the wording of that. So your permission, I think this one we should, Probably late fee. Uh, yeah, I think he made it enough to pay on the 28th. Three days before. I guess I would have thought probably the same thing. It's come out that night. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Right? So, yep. we'll let, we'll let uh, John know and we'll put them there. Mm -hmm. uh, no executive session. Anything else to be brought before the board? Anybody online? Concern? Public concern? Anybody in the room? Motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.